Hello once again, Star Wars Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode. Sorry, I swallowed there. Um, Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, and today I am here in my little lounging area to do a little bit more unboxings and a couple more reveals that have come around this week. And one of the things I'm kind of really excited about is what I'm wearing. Star Wars, the vaccinated strike back. That's right. If you are one of those people, and I know that the number is growing a lot each day that has gotten vaccinated and you want to proudly you know, proclaim that, what better way to do that in the Star Wars collecting fashion than with this really cool take on the Empire Strikes Back logo. If you're interested in getting this, you can get it on shirts, on um, prints, on magnets, on other different types of things. You can go to my Tee Public store, which the link is in the description. and. That's a great way for you to support the channel and to support the vaccine and get that out there so that we can get ourselves out of this pandemic, which I, I know is happening, but, it's, but it can happen faster the more people that get vaccinated. And yes, I recognize that there might be people that disagree. I understand that. I have proclaimed my opinion proudly. You can proclaim something else if you'd like, but be aware that anything that's hostile will be removed from the comments, so you might as well not bother. Anyway, so, uh, but you're entitled to your opinion. Anyway, so enough of talk about that. Let's talk about some new finds this week. First off, this came in the mail, and I was really excited about it. We have postage stamps. Yes, postage stamps. Now, we have done the postage stamp thing before. Now, I'm not a... Uh, an avid postage stamp collector, but I do love when Star Wars and the United States Postal Service combine forces. Uh, they did so about 15 years ago with the R2-D2 mailboxes. I'm sure many of you might remember R2 mailboxes, you know, this, this kind of uh, skin that followed around and you could find all over the in all sorts of different towns. I have a little I live in a little tiny small town and they had an R2D2 mailbox. It was so cool. Uh, and then of course that was something that you couldn't actually purchase because or buy or take off their hands because it was just basically a um, a skin, you know, like a like a vinyl skin or something that they put over regular mailboxes and you can't have a mailbox that's like against the law. I'm sure Steve Stans Sansweet figured something out. But uh, they did sell for a while little toy versions, like little small versions that you could purchase on the U.S. Postal Service site. But they did also in include a bunch of stamps with that. This is very. This is actually a droid. A droid theme. This the, the top ten here are the you know it just repeats at the bottom. So these are all droids. I love the droids that made the cut. You know, it looks like if you look closely, you'll see that there are droids representing everything from the original trilogy. Um, well, of course, R2 and 3PO represent both the original and the prequel trilogy. You also have BB-8 representing the sequel trilogy, Chopper representing Rebels, K2SO, um, DO rep K2SO representing Rogue One, L3 representing Solo, and you even got a little DO in there. And just for, sh for safe measure, you got a medical droid, a power droid. Oh, look, and there's IG-11 from Mandalorian. So really cool. You can probably get these at the post office, but I just ordered mine online. I actually ordered three sets, one, one to kind of frame or put up in my, my uh, accoutrement uh, little collection of paper and flat products. And then I have two sets that I'm going to actually use as they are forever stamps. So um, does, does the post office even sell non, you know, like aren't all stamps now forever stamps? I don't, I don't think they have a price on them. I don't know. Maybe leave, leave, a, leave a comment if you have, um, you know, more knowledge about that than I do. Okay, and then come some packages that came in the mail. We have two. Okay, and before I open them, here's this is one. Here's the other. You can see they they it's hard to tell based on the weight of uh, to what's in them. And I have to say that um, this is this is again I've mentioned this on episodes. This is kind of the new collecting um, norm, if you will. Um, and that is that you know we've been you know you put these orders in, and I order them as soon as they come out. I generally order through entertainmentearth.com because it seems to be the most um, easiest place to get the most product. Obviously, there are exceptions. You have to have exclusives in different places. But um, when it comes to uh, Entertainment Earth, they seem to have the vast majority of product and you can pre-order it and it seems to have enough that they maybe they take the pre-orders and then they just order what they need based on pre-orders which is probably <laughs> why when you go into big box retailers like Walmart and Target, 
that there aren't a lot of toys in, in the aisle because <laughs> maybe play companies like Entertainment Earth are buying all of it. The thing is, though, that I don't think they're making much of a I don't think they're making much of a profit over over and above what Target or Walmart was. The prices have been pretty much the same. So I don't see there may be occasionally might be a buck or two more. But if it's more, it's only by a very minuscule amount. So I recommend Entertainment Earth. The only downside is that, you know, it's a waiting game. And, and if you ordered like 10 items, you might get one on one day and two another day and one like two weeks later. And it's just a very slow burn. So you just got to get used to that. So, you know, and that's why with my channel, I just unbox, you know, not one at a time, but I'll box like two or three at a time. Judging by the way, I can't even be 100% sure what's in there. So let's take a look. I, and yes, I know I can look on my emails and that's true, but sometimes I like to be surprised. I know it's Entertainment Earth. I know it's going to be Star Wars because that's the only thing I order from Entertainment Earth. So that's why I like being surprised. So let's see what we got. Now I do get my little... Uh, it looks like it's just one single figure. Ooh, good, good packing. Thank you, Entertainment Earth. <gasps> Don't deny who you are. Ray, Dark Side Vision. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. And yes, I'm an unboxer when it comes to most of these. I do keep some of them boxed up, but most of these I will keep. I will open up um, because I just like them loose. Okay, so let's get right to it. Get this thing going here. Really cool. I like this. It was a great tease um, for the uh, for the movie when it came out. You know, I was kind of envisioning that it was going to be a vision. I didn't expect Ray to turn to the dark side, but but I did love what they did with her saber. Of course, they have the real awesome. Um, sorry for the sound. They did have the really awesome. face sculpts now that are that are essentially now this is interesting okay so there's the face sculpt I'll get some close-up shots here too but there's your face sculpt you know very realistic right and yeah, the 3d scan as always uh, it seems to have like a cloth kind of a cape on the back and then the then the other soft goods are more vinyl-y interestingly <coughs> excuse me you can't uh, I don't think you can remove the hood or the cowl or whatever so let's talk about this lightsaber. What a cool thing. Galaxy's Edge. Savvy. When are you going to get this thing made? That is an awesome idea. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Can I get her hand open up enough just to get this in there? There it is. I want to do it like, I want to kind of display it kind of mid. Whoops. Just came undone. That's okay. It's just, uh, it's really just a. Um, yeah, it's just a, uh, got to be careful with it. It is just like literally just one piece in another and they will come undone, um, which I like. I think that's a cool feature. So I'm just kind of like setting it up like that, like mid open, you know, that kind of thing. So pretty cool and passes the stand test. So there you go. Well, lean up here against the Millennium Falcon for a bit. Awesome. Okay. And what do we got? One more here. I'm going to open it up from the bottom. Feels like same weight, so I'm guessing it's another Black Series figure, but I could be wrong. Nope, I'm not. It is another Black Series figure. Nice. All right. So we've got the Bad Batch. We've got the Bad Batch um, Elite Squad Trooper. You know, it's really funny because I ordered these figures well before the Bad, well not well before, but weeks before the Bad Batch came out, and I have no idea what I'm ordering, you know, so this, and there's been a whole bunch of other, like just last week, there, you know, for May the 4th, there was a big release um, for uh, a bunch of figures like Admiral Rampart. I'm like, who's that? Well, we found out this week on the Bad Batch, didn't we? So, that's kind of cool that, you know, you're getting hyped up about the figure and not knowing the character. But at least in this case, there is some validity to the character. I mean, you know, the Bad Batch Elite Squad Trooper, I think, is more... Um, yeah, after the formation of the Galactic Empire, a small group of highly skilled enlisted recruits is tasked with neutralizing anti-imperial insurgents throughout the galaxy as a means to prove the effectiveness of conscripted soldiers. So they're basically arguing how to get 
um, conscripted soldiers as opposed to cloning. They're trying to do away with cloning, which um, I, I'm kind of I'm down with that storyline. I think that's a pretty cool thing in the history of Star Wars because there is this untapped market of time timeline between right after the right after the prequels ended, right after Order sixty six, and you know, right, I would say like a year or two before the events of A New Hope, that's pretty much a an untapped market. I mean, there's a little bit with Solo, there's a little bit of that, but, uh, and Rebels, but beyond that, it's, 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 you know, in terms of like live action, it's absolutely not uh, a tapped thing. So they have these nice kind of cross between Clone Trooper, Storm Trooper, uh, Shadow, Shadow Trooper, Shadow Clone Trooper. So they have all these really great things and 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 these um, these characters were featured in I think episode three of the um, of the Bad Batch. I'm still waiting on my Bad Batch figures. I'm very much looking forward to them coming. So there we go. We have him. Okay, add him to the trooper lineup. Obviously, this you could if you wanted to uh, army build. I think there were were well, there four I believe. Um, there were four characters. At least at the start of the episode, there were four. Hint, hint. But um, then, of course, you also have uh, um, still learning names. Crosshair. Thank you. Uh, we have Crosshair, who uh, kind of is wearing the same thing, only only I think it is marked up a little bit different to indicate his, he's the commander. So, again, very easily passes the stand test. So, beautiful job. So, we have our two figures. Here are two figures. We have our stamps. Yes, I'm making a thumbnail. <laughs> and we have some fun information. So uh, I am really excited for the next episode of Bad Batch. I love that we have some Star Wars content um, continuing on. I don't know how many episodes of Bad Batch is. If you do, leave it, leave a, a note in the comments. And uh, thank you so much for people who have been responding. It's been a lot of fun. I'm going to uh, you know, just ask again if you want to support the channel. Uh, you know, buy the merch is always the best way to do that. That's the only way to do that, truly, other than liking, subscribing, and hit the notification. And that's the easiest way and the most, the least expensive way, meaning costs nothing to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. That'll do it for this week's episode. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Check out all my other videos. I got some uh, a very interesting one uh, that it's either right before this one or right. I think it's right before this one. That is a, a restoration fail, sort of a fail. Uh, so I wanted to share that. So. So people can, you know, as, as a cautionary tale for those that are planning on restoring their uh, toys from the, the vintage years, um, I have a little cautionary tale. It didn't, you know, if you haven't watched it, it didn't turn out that bad. It turned out fine. It just, in comparison to my Falcon one, it was a pretty much a fail. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and get a lot out of it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out all my other videos. And until next time, may the force and the toys be with you.